so we need to start increasing our relations with Germany again. On the plus side, I do believe our truces are cancelled, aren't they not? No, truces are not cancelled. But all of our relations did zero out, which is nice. I think. Not really, but... Can I abolish democracy and an old fashioned dictatorship at one point? It, I'm not really in control of that. It's more up to the rebels. It is significantly more up to the rebels than it is up to me. Suffragette movements. Scheme 5 level rule in the upper house is excellent. Like, I believe it's going to be a liberal led uh, government, which is pretty okay for me, as far as I'm concerned. Um, yeah, we're in for free trade here. Alright, some shift work. And probably wouldn't hurt to start getting things like bolt action rifles. Now that our industry is pumped. We need to push forward with reform. Alright. We have to accept the minimum wage now. Yay! I pushed for it. Yep, jingoism. The police state. Alright. Not bad. Oh, and there's the alliance with Germany. Excellent. Government type minus 20. Yeah, that's a bit of a weird one. I'm not sure if that's just because we taken so the radicality and port power or not, but we'll see. Election campaign in progress. 18th of May, good. Here comes. Liberal. And we can enact social reforms. Universal healthcare movement. So be it. Alright. There. Suddenly, I think things are uh, a bit better. The Ottoman Empire. But yes. I'm pleased to announce that we are democratic now. The bourgeois have been overthrown. So when's our truth with Austria-Hungary up? It is up. Everyone else, though, we'd be going in alone. 103. 32. Like... I totally want to say I can beat the ever-living shit out of Austria-Hungary. But I'm not actually that sure. Especially, it kind of hurts that, you know... Nah, I should probably build extra artillery. And just cancel all constructions. Yeah. Like, it just kind of hurts that the number is so low. And Piedmont Nationales, as usual. It is actually be sure to do this. The Sahara is becoming liberal. Get them there now. There we won. Hold. Unite. Go. Yeah. Damn nationalists. Nobody cares about them. Keep trying to separate, but we're not going to let him. Alright. Hmm. Gain five liberal in the upper house. 
protection rifles, combat with an appearance, cool. Uh, infiltration it does allow for armor. But I think we need to go for military directionism to get gas attack. Army NCO training. Probably, yeah, infiltration will be the last one, unfortunately. As much as I like tanks, it's just not appropriate. So since we now have that. Okay. Yeah, we should we should have a lot less unemployment going on now. Yeah, yeah. Fixed our unemployment. And you know what? The country isn't in horrifying revolt anymore. It's nice. We actually only have 12 fucking transports. Um, build eight more. And while we're at it, Naples will be where we gather. Austria-Hungary is having some issues around the edges. Only allied with Montenegro now. That makes it a lot more interesting. Now they're not allied with Spain. Less risk for me. Hmm. I really want to say I'm better off waiting until 1908, though. I hope. It's just kind of hard to gauge Austria's power proper. I mean, one, two, three, four. Four armies, I could draw a line there and hold, but yeah. I'm just not sure if I can actually pull it off or not. For whatever reason, the numbers that they give are just massive for them. 117 to my 34. Apparently. How many? They have 17 million. I have 4 million. Yeah, I guess that does make sense. They just have a lot more people than I do. We can almost do things. The suffrage movement is starting to gain power. It will pretty quickly, I think, uh, push us to universal voting. And we'll soon have women's suffrage. Army's organization plus 10. Eaten by cannibals. NCO training. Yeah, this is a huge tech. Not again. I mean, this time the capital's dug in and defended. So it's not going to be a fucking problem, but good god. There will be no communism. Democracy will stand. Oh well, there's a lot less rebellions. And they're a lot smaller, so... Eh, it works. It works. Apparently we lost somewhere. Uh, probably something was getting trained. Building troops. Alright, let's fund our uh, administration fully now that we can afford to. I mean, taxes are at 50% and we're still incoming a ton of cash. It's good. I think our highest production is still fish. <laughs> uh... 
I'll pop some juices and find them some more liberal. That's fine. Alright, well, we almost have enough for universal suffrage here, yep. Yeah. Want political reform? Good. So all we need now is 29 point. All we need is like 0.1% more socialist or whatever. Or just a little bit more liberal. Either or. Alright. We're still pumping out all the stuff. Good, good. So, as it is 1904, I suppose it's about time that we start justifying the war. Uh, yeah. We're probably going to take a ton of uh, infamy on for it, but... Fuck it. <laughs> In 20, liberal. Give me a press. Enough for us to enact women's suffrage, no less. Uh, there it is. Excellent. Women can now vote. And voting shall be universal. Hippie hurrah! Democracy. There. So, with women voting, that will help. Just in time for the upper house rearrangement, too. Okay. And direct artillery fire. Attend the third Olympic Games. But of course. Help. Yeah, the last one's going to be a doozy to get, though. That's 22 infamy, so... Gonna have to wait until I'm down to 3 infamy before I can officially annex Italy. You know, I feel like... For these brief moments when I can... Yeah, sure, discredit me, whatever. I feel like I should try and do what I can to uh, weaken others' positions in Italian... Sphere. They have 15 troops, so I'm not particularly afraid of them. <laughs> A war to end all wars. It has become increasingly clear that we've entered a new era of unprecedented warfare. The conflicts of our time are no longer mere local issues, but instead reach every corner of the world. Considering the ever-increasing stakes and the terrifying impact of these hostilities on the nations involved, there's no longer a need for restraint. From now on, a great war will allow a side that is clearly winning the ability to add even more war goals. Gentlemen, all I ask is for war. A war so grand as to make hell itself terrible. Tremble. Great wars can now become world wars. Oh yeah, I also have one of these, don't I? No, what does Sardinia need? Anything? Need? Need? works. I assume they have a factory. They seem to have some craftsmen, but they don't have any clerks, so. Yeah, try and force up the clerk count there. Alright. French Berber, Maghrebi, yeah, not bad. Overall, pretty good. How's Tunisia going? 0.2% and 0.13. Improving. Alright, so with that, begin encouraging craftsmen. Since uh, we've actually got some work done down here. Go. Or encouraging, not craftsmen, bureaucrats. Sorry. That way those provinces can finally become proper states. We're now cordial with Italy. 
as we sit here justifying war on them, which will take an unfortunately long time to do. But that's fine. Like I said, the goal here is more or less to keep them, uh, you know, unheld by anybody else. Anyone? Against the Russian Empire. Dare I ask who the Russian Empire is allied to? as you might think. Alright. I mean, this block that we're building is pretty awesome. I'm part of it for once. Germany, France, Italy, and the Ottomans. Although I wouldn't mind getting France properly intertwined with this whole thing. I don't think this is going to be a problem I, that I need. Yes, of course, France. You're without question our ally. Alright. Finally, infiltration. A disloyal regiment. Well, I would say we have quite a decent number of soldiers put together. Alright. Minus 10. Well, we can improve relations up enough for it, so it's not going to be a problem. Good. That didn't last long. The Russian Empire loses. So, Italy is going to lose one more region. Just one more. Doesn't have to lose any more than that, because the last region is going to keep for quite a while. Yep. Because there's no fucking way I can take it. Not with my infamy. Especially with the way that I just buy wars. Ugh. I'm gonna get a full 22 for it, guaranteed. Alright. Well. The common school movement's gaining ground. Oh, yes. Uh, sure, it's great powers over here. Good, there we are. As you can see, we're basically nuking down everyone else. Works well enough. Alright. Soon, we'll be ready. Our athletes are victorious. Good to hear. Alright. And... Soon going to be time for us to plow into Italy. Just over a month now. Good. We're getting lots of cores randomly. These cores, I assume. Yeah, we've picked up three cores here. Is anywhere else cored? Oh yeah, sorry. Anywhere with probably uh, South Italian is cored up here. Alright. We're now friendly with Italy. And on that note, since we're so friendly with Italy, cross Antarctica. Yes.
Hi. This is going to happen to you now. I hope there's no hard feelings. Their entire army is there. And all the troops that they raise up are going to be here, so... Kill them all. Come on. Should explode. Yeah, there we are. And you guys fan out. Good. Classics rediscovered. Excellent. The remains of the Italian Navy apparently have no will to fight me, so... That's fine. They blockade them, too. The Doctrine of Fascism. The Sicilian Red Star. So... Probably grab government interventionism at this point, so we can uh, start getting national crisis in West Macedonia. I support this. <laughs> Not much I can do to stop it, but you know, 